YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today, I thought we could do a chatty get ready with me before we head to the gym. And you know what today is? Today's Friday. And you know what Friday means? Friday means leg day. So yep, I said it. We're doing legs today because all I ever do are shoulders and legs. Also, can we talk about for a quick second how cute this little robe is? I got it in my FabFitFun box. It looks like I'm getting ready for my wedding or something. I just wanted to chat it up with you guys a bit. So I thought that we could do a little get ready with me while I get ready to start my day. Cause I have to go run some errands before we go to the gym. So you know, I wanna look presentable. And disclaimer, I don't know what I'm doing. Also, another disclaimer, I put like three things on my face. So this is gonna be a really quick mini get ready with me. Well, we started with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I already put that on my face. Don't need that anymore. And this is the Natasha Denona Foundation Full Coverage in the shade 75 Dark. Ooh, because I'm 75 and dark. What do we want to talk about? We want to talk about my gym routine and how it looks like I only do legs and shoulders every day, all day long. I promise I do more than that. A couple months ago, I was really into the whole push-pull day, but then, like most things in my life, I got a little bored, so I decided to switch it up. I decided to just go into the gym and do whatever I felt like doing that day. And that's basically what I'm still doing. I check to see what part of me is not sore, and whatever part of me is not sore, that's what I do in the gym that day. Riley, can you, excuse me, thank you. There are part of the routine that are like hammered in there that we don't change, that we do exactly the same every single week, and that is Monday and Friday are leg day. Those are my leg days, and those will forever be my leg days. And on Monday, I like to do more glute focus, and on Friday, I like to do kind of the whole leg. Tuesday? Tuesday is normally my chest day, my chest and tricep day. I've also gotten into this thing where I just love triceps. Let me just continue to pat this aggressively into my face for another 25 million years. Okay, is that done? Also, if you see this dry spot, ignore it. I had a reaction to a face product I was using and now it looks like I'm part lizard. Which maybe I am, I don't know, that'd be kinda cool. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna use this high, no, concealer. It is a medium dark chestnut. Ooh, uh, I like this. So where were we? Is this my old one? Yeah, I was using my old one. It ran out. Ooh, look at that creaminess. Yes, this is what we wanted. It's Wednesday, I do back and biceps. Thursday is shoulders and arms. And Friday is leg day. And then Saturday is whatever the heck I wanna do. But of course, all of this can be switched around, can be changed any day of the week. We can throw an audible. That's what they call it in football, I think, right? I just love concealer. Conceal all my problems. So yeah, basically as long as I'm in the gym, I just, I work out whatever doesn't hurt. I work out whatever is not sore. I do whatever I feel like doing that day. I'm not trying to follow some strict, super like cutthroat schedule. I'm just trying to enjoy the gym. I'm just trying to go live in my happy place. And that is my workout split, workout split. You know, one of my friends the other day told me that if you sing your words that it's a defense mechanism. And I said, oh, is that so? Let me live my defensive life. I sing everything, everything. Someone will say something to me and if it makes me slightly uncomfortable, I'll just sing back exactly what they just said. And somehow that makes it better, you know? Somehow that gets me through the day. So if you sing your words, uh, apparently that means you got some inner things going on that you might wanna get, you know, you might wanna talk about. I'm doing my eyebrows now. We've come a long way, and I know that I still have a long way to go, so please don't make fun of me. I've struggled with my eyebrows my whole life. I have a confession. Freshman year of high school, I thought that it would be a good idea to pluck a line in my eyebrow on a hot, Phoenix summer day, it was like it was like noon, you know? Like who's making these crazy life eyebrow decisions at noon? Kudos to past Courtney for just, you know, taking initiative on what she wanted her eyebrows to look like. Maybe it wasn't the best idea, but I'm really impressed with myself about that. That I didn't care what people were gonna think. I wanted an eyebrow hole. And you know, by golly I did it. I gave myself the best eyebrow hole I could give myself. There's points in my life where I look back on like past Courtney when she did crazy things and the place that I am in right now, I can't even fathom. I'm just like, how did I do that? Where did I find the strength or the audacity? Like what made me think that I could just do that? 
<laughs> and I really admire my past self for that. For example, I decided one day, like, I don't know, like three or four years ago, that I was going to run a marathon. I just decided one day. I was like, I'm going to run a marathon. I saw people running a marathon, and I was like, I'm going to be those people. And what did I do? I woke up every single morning at 5 a.m. for months, and I went running, like, like, 5 to 12 miles every morning before work. And this was an undergrad. And what? Just because I, just because I, I just wanted, I just wanted to do it. Just, it's crazy. And now I find myself, as I'm older, I question things a lot more than I used to when I was younger. I feel like when I was a little younger, even a couple years ago, I would just jump into things. I would just be like, I'd put my mind to something and I'd do it. But now there's hesitation, and I think that comes with getting older and getting more responsibility and stuff. Oh, we're we're highlighting our face. We're just gonna babble on a little. Also, I don't know how to put this on, so. What was I saying? Yeah, I feel like as we get older, we have more hesitation because we're thinking about consequences more, we're thinking about, we're being too realistic. And I hate when people tell me to be realistic. That's like one of my pet peeves now because it's like, yes, you need to be realistic. You know, don't just go quit your job and like, whatever. I mean, do if you want, whatever. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, I wish that I had a little more bravery that I used to have. A little more carefree bravery that I used to have even just a couple years ago because I feel like I'd be better for it and I feel like I'd try more things if I wasn't always worried about what was gonna happen or the outcome or weighing the pros and cons sometimes you just gotta jump into it and that's what I miss that's that's what all this rambling was really about set spray <clears throat> oh god and here's my completed daily makeup look you know, I don't know if I'm getting scammed or what because I feel like I look exactly the same before as after. So I kind of feel like I'm being scammed by the whole makeup industry. But that's fine. We won't discuss that today. Woo! So now that that is completed, let's go. Actually, I'm feeling braids today. It's rainy outside. My hair's going to get frizzy. Let's do it. Okay, one, two, three. Yay! Braids done. All right, now that all of that is done, let's go start our day. So we're gonna start our leg day today. We're just gonna start off with some warm-ups with a resistance band and then move right into the workout. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion, like a sparrow with Wings, but now I shine with your reflection on me. I'm getting back up on my feet. That you showed up was written in my palm. You are a statement that explodes like a bomb. I get to push myself to. We're gonna do that two to three times or until you feel super warmed up and then jump into our working sets. <laughs> I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came, your weight is strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where are you heading? So, today's workout, we're gonna incorporate a lot of hits with our dumbbell leg day. So our first super set, oh my god, my lip sweat is real right now. Our first super set was whole squats with a dumbbell and then transition straight into jumping squats. Woo. We're gonna do four rounds of that. The full workout is in the description box below if you wanna see. Second super set of the day was sumo RDLs, super setted with jumping lunges. I'm sweating so much. It's only been 22 minutes and I've burned 181 calories, so, so far so good. Why in gravity pulling you in closer to me? I first you But I need you And you're off my radar now I first you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no sipping past it Every time you walk away 
away from me, I want you How could I want you more? Oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless Can't get enough, I've lost you But I need you, and you're off my radar now I've lost you Hello friends! Our second superset was single leg RDLs, supersetted with box side jump things. I don't really know the specific thing. Look at this, looks like it's not, but this is sweat. I'm sweating so much. Okay, so then the next... <laughs> People are looking at me. Okay, our final superset of this leg slash hit day is gonna be glute bridges on the box, supersetted with like a combination of a jump squat and a jump lunge because I'm just really trying to burn my legs out. I feel it in my booty and my quads and I combine both of those together. So that's what we're gonna do. And then this workout will be complete. I'm like an outcast from pillar to post There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts I'm like an outcast from pillar to post Hitting you up but I'm stuck on hold It's really a bad reception out there Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? Yeah, I lost you But I need you And you're off my feet Oh my gosh, and that is gonna complete today's workout. I hope that you guys enjoyed, maybe I should just, hold on, let me fix this. I hope that you guys enjoyed this workout and my upper lip sweat. That is my proof that this actually burned. Like, I, it, it was a tough one. Remember, you can like this video if you liked it, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss new videos, because content is coming. So, I hope that you guys have a terrific day and a terrific week, and I will see you all in the next video.